Scientists gave college students what were purported to be psychedelic drugs, when in reality they were just placebos. To hear how that went down, it's time for Science in Seconds. Looking for insight into how expectations and context give rise to the placebo effect, a team of researchers invited 33 college students to a room on campus set up to resemble a psychedelic party. The team pitched the experiment as a pilot study to test the effects of a drug and the environment on creativity. Students arrived at 7 p.m. and soon received a pink pill that the researchers claimed included psilocybin, the active ingredient in psychedelic mushrooms. The students then spent much of the next four hours mingling among psychedelic paintings, changing color lights, and meditation cushions, along with paper and pencil crayons for drawing, while a projector played nonverbal films known for their stunning visuals. Sounds pretty groovy, but honestly, you know you've thrown a hell of a fake party when your paper's acknowledgments section includes shoutouts to a DJ and to university employees who lent their office beanbags. Beanbags, people! They had beanbags! But you know what truly took this scientific subterfuge up a level? The team also planted accomplices among the students. Fifteen minutes after everyone knocked back those pink placebo pills, the accomplices began to subtly act out psilocybin's psychedelic effects. One even told some participants, Your pupils are huge! Are mine like that? When the scientists revealed that the pill wasn't a drug at all, many participants appeared shocked. One of the participants who had sat with a group near the paintings throughout the study asked, So we were all sober and just watching these paintings for 45 minutes? <laughs> uh, I like that. I think that's funny. During the party, students completed questionnaires related to mood and consciousness. But the researchers didn't do much in the way of statistical analysis, so I'm not going to formally present their findings. Let's just say if they'd shown the participants a pie chart illustrating how many of them reported feeling psychedelic effects, this is how 20 of the 33 might have perceived it. The team hopes this study will prompt further research into the placebo effect and contact highs. The researchers believe that understanding how expectations and context can bolster a drug's actual effects may help clinicians treat their patients with lower, safer doses. Uh, full disclosure, though, we had to cover this study because the premise is strikingly similar to an idea Helen, one of our producers, had when we started Study Show. To promote on-the-job creativity, she pitched the idea of staff taking daily psilocybin pills, which she assured me were actually placebos. The power of placebos is that even though I know that the pill does nothing, I still take one every day because it feels like it works. <laughs> oh, now's as good a time as any to tell me what. You only told me they were placebos because... You knew I wouldn't have gone for the idea otherwise. Yeah, definitely would not have. So you're telling me I'm... And the dose? Also high. Well, that would explain the whole cartoon deal. My pupils are huge. Studies show that liking and subscribing to channels like this one will make you feel super duper warm and fuzzy. You just have to believe it.